First of all, let's see how to retrieve an item, a specified item from a simple array. So first of all, let's create our array. For that, we will add a few items to an empty array. Let's add some names, Mike, Joe, and Elise. And if you run this, here's our array. Now, let's um, get the item we need. Get is the name of the function that we will use. So let's see functions get. And here, if you take a look, what it says is we need an array, and then we need a path. So the array, the array, the path will be the number of our item. So let's get first. And well, the first one should be Mike. So we are getting the first item. Very simple. Whoop, and we get Mike. Perfect. Let's take a look at a more complicated array. So right here, I have created <clears throat> a list of 10 of the funniest English words, supposedly. And so here we are going to retrieve that list. You can see that right here, we have an array of 10 items. But in this example, these items are not just plain text, but they're collections, where A is equal to some text. So first of all, we'll need to convert the array to a simple array. To do that, we will use the function map. Here we need to put in the array and the key. So the array. Now, what is the key? If you take a look and we hover over the, the item, it's telling us that the raw key is zero. So we will put in a zero. Let's click OK. Let's run this. And so right now we have our simple array. So from this point, it's the same thing as before. We're going to get. Now all of this is the array, semicolon, and well, let's get the tenth item, which is which should give us the whippersnapper. Let's see. And here he is. 